Hey YouTube fans, Disney Brain. This is a uh, Teen Beach 2. Same surf and new turf. We got the characters. So, we got the plot. So the plot is about on the eve of the first day of school, Brady and, and Mac, the day when they met, uh, about the summer, best summer ever, that was the song. While they were in Teen Beach movie in the 1960s, they knew that they were stuck in and Mac dimension Brady's fears that their relationship would, would change to begin in school when Mac lost the necklace and they received the wet side story at school when Brady and Mac reunite with their respective friends who they are and surprised by the new relationship due to their opportunities of their personalities. Later in the classroom, Brady is working on surfboard designs, but he hides them when Mac asks him to what he was doing. Mac begins to save the beach dance. Despite Brady's attempt, his struggles his college application. Bur Brady works on surfboards instead and accidentally forgets about the college fair. He attends Mac, upsetting him or her. They have to break up uh, on my own. That's the song. And in the West Side Story, when Leela and Tano suddenly breaks with the film plot. Having experiences of changes of themselves since Mac and Brady visits, they notice when Mac washed up in the necklace and the journey into the ocean, winding up to the same world where Mac and Brady are still in the good terms with Layla and Tanner. So the modern world when Mac and Brady choose to the show that the world seems hopes that they return to their own world. The characters in Wet Side Story are left confused without Layla and Tanner. With all the cast. The starting duo is following for you. Or falling for you. So those are the two songs they've been listening to. Brady and Mac bring Layla and Tana to school. Their, char their characteristics when Mac and Brady against caution. They twist the songs from the they twist upside upside down. They become of doing their math homework to spend time with Tanner after school. Tanner gets confused when Tanner and Mac were, was talking about having a break with the show with the surfboards, but Mac may not understand the newfound hobby and realize that Leo, Leo and Tanner are becoming a part of the modern world. Mac and Brady attempts convincing them to the characters the film of the show clips from Wet Wet Side Story, the silver screen, but they were upset because when Layla throws the necklace into the ocean, prompting Mac and Brady to search for it and back into the wet side story. So the characters be begin to disappearing. The cast when they were washed up by the necklace. 
the film of the, the modern world about to disappearing from the characters. Mac realizes without the main actor, the film world to exist to, exist to their existence. The characters return to their world when Brady and Mac avoid to each other during the saving the beach dance. They guaranteed the characters in West Side Story who decide to return. Gonna be me, that's the song. And disappeared the necklace when Brady and Mac runs to their Mac. grandfather's surfboard first they use into the west side story universe with no waves but they decide to get the surfboard to create along to embrace max's grandfather's surfboard they compare from brady's hobby to her the grandfather surfboard position they agreed to keep secrets from each other, meant to be. Before Tanner and Layla leaves Mac and tells Layla to make the movie of her story, when Brady fixes the surfboard malfunction, allowing Layla and Tanner to part when Brady emerges from the ocean. And Mac appears to not know each other later. They met uh, when they saved the beach dance. When which Mac says their favorite movie when Layla Queen of the Beach when Layla follow Mac's advice that changes the movie, giving the females. T Tone erasing Brady and Mac's history together despite Mac and Brady who flirts and falls in love against restoring their relationship and that's how they do. Thank you for watching Teen Beach 2 when they directed in 2015 when the movie was five years, the last being in Camp Proc 2, The Final Jam, in 2010. Thank you, and I'll see you again. Bye.